gathering information is not an action. Um, so, like, literally, by, you know, definition of the words and you know, the English language, yes, it is. Technically, it's gathering, which is an action. Um, but I thought this was still a good quote. Uh, so I listened to a bunch of, like, business advice lately because, well, here's the deal. Let me fill you in on something real quick. This is a side tangent. Um, it doesn't matter how good you are as a coach, how much you know, your knowledge, or anything like that. The guy who's better at marketing is beating you. That was a hard pill for me to swallow. That probably deserved its own video. I should probably talk about that sometime. Uh, it really doesn't matter how good you are as a coach. It doesn't matter... If you've gone to school for 20 years and you've been studying all kinds of stuff, uh, the guy who's better at marketing is beating you. Anyways, this is a piece of business advice, which I thought was actually really intelligent, even though it's not literally accurate in, you know, gathering information is not, not an action, right? So what his point was, was that people spend all this time gathering information. They're gathering information. They're gathering information, you know. Uh, they're, they're waiting to have all the answers before they act. And so you do this in business all the time, but you do this in your life. That's why I thought about it. Like I was like, this is like people that are constantly gathering information on like, what's the best program? What's the best program? What's the best program? What's the best? Dude, just fucking do something. It's better than you sitting around trying to find the best program. In fact, I will tell you, you could do three by 10. Yes, three by 10. Pick three exercises and do three by 10 in those three exercises. And if you go hard every time and add weight to the bar, like, or, you know, just push yourself, please. Just try. You're going to make progress. The perfect program doesn't exist. You're sitting there looking for it and, and you're gathering information and you're gathering information. And instead, you should just be taking action. Like, just, there's a quote, I want to say it was Patton, and it's something like, uh, you know, a mediocre plan violently executed immediately is better than a perfect plan next week, right? And this is the point in business too, is that you have these people who are very, this is the irony. People who are not very intelligent are more successful than you because they take action, they get a little bit of information and immediately act on it. But people who are really intelligent, especially if you're like an engineering type, right? You overanalyze and you you sit there and you you wait for the you wait for the stars to align. Like I have to make sure that I don't know, I don't do astrology, but I'm sure there's something like Saturn and Jupiter have to be in alignment or something, right? I'm I'm obviously joking because I don't think Saturn and Jupiter ever are in alignment, but I wouldn't know because I don't do astrology. So I don't know if that's a, I'm sure that from, you know, a physics and astronomy standpoint, yeah, you can draw a straight line between the two at some point. But the point being about this whole thing of astrology, like, oh, this, the moon is in vitro or some shit. I don't understand where that comes from. Um, the point being, you are gathering information. You are trying to find the perfect diet. You are trying to find the perfect training split. You're trying to find some piece of information. You spend all this time gathering information instead of just taking action. This is like I try to tell people all the time, there's never a good time to get pregnant, to get married, or to buy a house. You just have to do it. You just have to go all in. I can't explain this to anyone, though. No matter how many times I try to explain it to people, people don't get it, and they still sit there trying to, I don't know, analyze it further, right? Like, well... If only such and such. No, just go get pregnant. Like, just do it. Like, and I mean that both literally and metaphorically. So if you don't understand, I'm telling you, just go get pregnant. Just, just do it. Because if you're waiting, you're going to wait too long. You're going to wait for all this shit. You're going to wait till, oh, well, only until we have a bigger house. Listen, you're waiting for the perfect day. Perfect day is never going to come. So I mean that in a literal sense. I also mean it in a metaphorical sense. I mean it in the metaphorical sense of just do something. Stop waiting for tomorrow. Stop waiting for someday. Someday I'm going to write a novel. No, fuck that shit. If you're waiting to write a novel, turn this video off and start writing right now. Like, boom. And, and I, I give this illustration, and I'm talking about things that have nothing to do with lifting, but um, or diet, for that matter. Pick one. Go do it. It really is that simple. Some of the best programs I ever did was when I just picked a couple movements and just decided I was going to hammer the shit out of them. 
Like, I wonder what I can push my muscle snatch to. That's one of the best programs I ever did. One of the best programs I ever did was I was just like, yeah, you know what? Like, I'm gonna see if I can get my muscle snatch way up. And I just hammered the muscle snatch. So I did like front squats, muscle snatches, uh, snatch grip deadlifts, and push press. I think that's like my whole program at that time. And I just pushed it. Like I just kept trying to add weight to the bar and I missed tons of reps. So those people that tell you never miss reps, fuck that shit, <laughs> miss reps. You know, so every time I came in, I tried to put another five pounds on the muscle snatch and I made progress. It wasn't a magical program. There wasn't like some kind of sets and reps designed to this either. Like I legit just came in and tried to do more than I did last time. So if you know, I came in and I did 95 for five, then I would try to do 95 for six. And then, you know, if I did 115 for two, I would try to do 125 for two. Like I just kept adding weight and I, or, or trying to add reps, right? So, you know, if I'm able to, oh, I can do 135 for two, next week I'm gonna try 140 for two, or I'm gonna try 145 for two, you know, or maybe I'll try to get 135 for three. It didn't matter. The point was at every week, I either tried to add a rep or add weight. And I just kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. Um, that's not a sexy program. I don't have like, take this percentage and do this exactly, many, you know, this many reps of this many sets and then, you know, drop weight and then do this. No, it was just come in and work. Action. Sitting around gathering information, waiting to find the perfect program. Like you're never, in fact, you're going to find too many perfect programs and then you won't know which one to choose. You're, you're thinking your way out of progress. You're gonna find 10 different diets and all of these sound great. I don't know how to choose one because you have too many options. That's the problem. You have too many options. It's like, I see this happen in really talented people. Really talented people are so good at so many different things, they have a hard time just choosing one. So they end up paralyzed because it's like, I don't know which one I should do because I'm good at all of them. Pick one. Pick one and just go with it. It's easier for people who are only talented at one thing. If the only thing you're good at is, oh man, I'm terrible at absolutely everything. The only thing I'm good at is hockey. Then it's easy for you. It's like, well, then you're gonna play hockey. But like, what if you're good at every sport? How do you pick which one you wanna focus in on? Shit, so then you just end up kind of being medium at everything because you don't put 100% into one thing. I'm really good at math but I'm terrible at everything else. Well, then that's easy for you. You're gonna go with math. But it's like, well, I'm a straight A student in all of my classes. Get a 1600 on my SAT, go to college, and I realize, oh my gosh, I, you know, breeze through bio, breeze through chem, breeze through OSCHEM. You know, everyone suffers in OCHEM, and I, it was easy. And, and physics, not a problem. Which one do I choose? Fuck. That person actually has a bigger problem than you because they're good at multiple things. So now they have to make this choice where they are like, well, I'm good at 10 different things. How do I just pick one? Meanwhile, the guy who was like, man, huh, I fucking bombed bio. Absolutely just got destroyed in chem. Oh, but you know, I did really good in this physics class. I guess I'll go into physics. Not that it ever works that way because if you're good at physics, then you're good at chemistry. So that's not really how it truly works, but I'm just trying to make a point that uh, if you're good at one thing, it's really easy to know which thing to focus on. When you find 10 different programs that all look good, it's hard to pick one. So it's better for you just to go, just act. Gathering information is not action. Um, and that's the truth. You're sitting around, you're gathering information. You keep gathering information. You keep asking questions. You keep saying, well, what about this? And what about this? And what about this? And what about this? All the what abouts, are wasting your time, go act. It's like this, I'll tell you real quick. Another lesson I keep learning from all this business stuff is guys talk about how it's a waste of time to go get your MBA. Because once you go start running a business yourself, you're actually like doing it, everything you learn in school, you realize you have to throw all that shit out. So the stuff you learn in school isn't really accurate in the real world. I can tell you that from my own experience. I learned a whole bunch of shit in school and then when I got into the real world, it was like, eh, I think they actually taught me the wrong shit. That's not how it's done in the real world. I talk about this with music. I made this post on IG the other day talking about music. So we're gonna get into that real quick. 
Ringo Starr plays wrong. Everything's wrong about Ringo Starr. Like, if you know anything about playing drums, Ringo Starr is fucking everything up. It sounds fine. To a person who doesn't know drumming, you know, the way that it's taught, it sounds fine. Jimi Hendrix sometimes uses his thumb on bar chords. You're not supposed to do that. It makes guitar instructors cringe. It sounds fine. It sounds great. Miles Davis. Oh, he, he's outside of the key. Oh, it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, you can go with... How about this? A Day in the Life. It's a Beatles song. I don't care if you like the Beatles or not. This is important. The Beatles wrote A Day in the Life, and it's basically like three songs stuck together. That song inspired Freddie Mercury to write Bohemian Rhapsody because of the fact that the Beatles broke the rules. He was like, well, I can break the rules too. Yeah. <laughs> you learn all this music theory and you learn all this science and all this stuff like that. And then at some point you just forget all that shit and go play. Went Marsalis. Forget all that shit and go play. That's the point. You, you gathering information, it's paralyzing you. That's why you're not making progress. You're spending all this time gathering information, looking for the perfect program, looking for the perfect diet. And in reality, you just need to go do something.